They all think they're tough and buff and all that good stuff. Y'all trash. I'm gonna love you. What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Ultimate Speaster, and today we're doing something new. We're doing something crispy. We're creating uh, two schools inside of one wizard. We're gonna make the wizard fire and ice. We're gonna make that possible. We're gonna make it happen today. So basically, it's gonna be majority of the ice school. Like he's gonna um, focus on ice, but he's also gonna focus a lot on fire. I got him a fire mastery amulet, which will basically let him use power pips on fire spells. When we get through the worlds and all that good stuff, he'll be alternating between the two, and it'll just be epic. So let's get started. Aha! The spell is working. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh, a young wizard, a student with amazing potential. All right, guys, so we're just going to skip the test. We're going to select ice because I don't have ice wizard at all. I already have a fire. I got a death. I got a myth and I got a storm. So this is already got a fire wizard. And I'm mostly fire main, <laughs> so I'm going to have ice, you know, so ice are mostly like defensive. They got a lot of health. The resist is very high. They know the usuals. They don't really do a lot of damage, but that's where we're gonna make up with the fire spell that we're gonna do. So let's go. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? All right, everybody. So this is what I made uh, so far. I made him get with the primarily blue, but he got the red um, outlining for the fire. What is your name? All right, we gotta pick a name, guys. We gotta pick a nice name. This is gonna be a little tricky. Uh, we just probably make the name between both, <laughs> which is gonna be kind of hard to do. So, cause what can the last name be? Like, should the last name be fire like, and then the middle name be ice like, and you know, vice versa? We go actually see what we come up with. All right, guys. So we came up with James Frost Flame. I think that's actually a really good name to uh, give this character. Let's go ahead. All right, here we are, guys. James Frost Flame. Let's get it, baby. Look at him. Yes, sir. Gonna be two schools and one wizard, man. Welcome to Ravenwood Academy, young wizard. <laughs> Normally, this is where you'd be enrolled and sent to your classes. Yeah. Times are not normal. There's some kind of supernatural incursion in Unicorn Way that must be dealt with immediately. I wonder. You've demonstrated such potential. I think practical experience will serve you better than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? Let's get it. Indeed. Time is of the essence, so I'll teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the wizard city guard in charge of that area. Welcome to Unicorn Way. There are creatures here who will attack you if you get too close to them, so stick to the task at hand. Whoa, 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 young student. The street's very dangerous right now. Is there something I can help you with? Uh... Hey, the headmaster sent you to help us. Well, then, you're just a person, a oh, wizard. I've been waiting for. This <laughs> used to be a pleasant street, but we've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. The guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls, then report back to me. Good luck. To battle the monsters, run up when you get all right let's get to work the lost souls let's whoop him all right guys so we got our battle circle going let's get to work uh we gonna start off with an ice spell because we're the ice school also mixed with some fire in me i like the colors i did the colors are really nice What's gonna be tricky about this is the gear later on that we have to get. I'm leveling up, like waterworks gear and all that. That's gonna be really tricky on how to work out. But um, when those kind of things happen, we gonna have to sacrifice some gears for the fire upgrades. You know, we gotta make that sacrifice just a little bit. Okay, we good. We good. All right. 
That turns the tide. We'll follow your lead and stop pushing these ghostly things. But I'm worried we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightshan, also... Oh, hey there, I'm Saren. You're new here, aren't you? Well, yeah. I for one am very glad you're here. I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way. I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Huh, yar. No, thank you. Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies. Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? Yeah. If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. Why y'all up in our business, ma'am? It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, we're able to go to the house now, so let me leave a marker here. Teleport home into our dorm. So I can uh, pull out the amulet. All right, go to the bank. Here we are. There. Amulet. You see fire mastery. We're going to head and move that to the backpack. Activated. There we go. Our first part into learning the two schools. We even got the little fire wisp thing around us right now, which is really good. You feel me? What I should have done, guys, is that I should have actually put a mount in the share bank as well. Because <laughs> the walking around is going to be a little extra. But for the next episode, I'll definitely make sure to put on a mount. All right, uh, we need the fire beetle actually. I mean, not the fire beetle. Huh? I mean, fire cat. So I'm a pass. And we're gonna pull the fire spell. We should pull the fire spell at least. That's the only other spell we can really get. There we go. Don't fizzle, please. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, of course. We'll fizzle. That sucks, dude. Alright, we're losing a lot of health right now. <laughs> He's hitting like every round. Alright, I had to shut him down immediately. But we got a bit of health for our Ice Wizard. You feel me? It's supposed to be tanky anyway. We got already like 500 health. <laughs> At like level two. <laughs> so it was weird. Fire spell. We need to cast this fire spell. Come on, come on. There we go. Power of the flames, baby. Parley, parley. Ye got guts, little wizard. More than us to be sure, but ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> They all think they're tough and buff and all that good stuff. Y'all trash. Oh, wow. You made it back. The pirates warn. See, there is a powerful, not a... Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. I'm glad I... The side mission? Oh, okay, for um, ringing. Part of the main story. All right, I'll do it. Cause why not, right? They want to come back this way. I'll just turn it into her. She's supposed to give me a ring for that. I actually meant to get it before I even went over here, but I was too focused on killing them. Fire. Awesome. Hello? What purpose? Brings you into our hedge mate. Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've appreciate it. The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Is my job? Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages, then bring me fairy dust 
from those it corrupted, it may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. All right, got to kill a couple fairies, open up a couple cages, you know, the usuals. Get to work. Light work, baby. I will not kill Cosmo and Wanda, though. I refuse, because they're the homies. All right. Uh, let's try ice. Switch it up a little bit. Use fire a lot. Hundred and five still alive? This is weird. Epic. Cool. Now open the cages. Uh I collected one fairy dust, so soon I had to kill another fairy. Look at the freaking skulls. No respect. All right, we're going to cast a different school spell. Uh, let's try Storm, because Storm will eliminate her completely, but we might not get it cast through, because it's Storm, and Storm likes to fizzle. All right, let's try Balance. Balance things out, shall we? <laughs> cool. Yo, I'm back from killing your friends. You cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With now, we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me... Is that? But how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic vanished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? Rattle bones. In life, a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. Give me a broom, give me a mount. Let's get it. I'm getting a lot of ice shielding gear. Or ice resist. I'm getting a lot of that. The suspenseful music, though. Is it that deep, though? Like, is, is it the issue that advanced? I guess so. The mount she gave me isn't bad. I think it's a 20 speed, but it seems pretty fast right now. I guess I was walking for a little while, <laughs> so I forgot how it is to, to uh, use a mount. So, it feels like I'm zooming right now. Alright guys, we got the ring. 10 more health. Like it, like it. Hello! You were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and joined a skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? Oriel thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower, ringed in bones. Yeah. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Appreciate it. You got our contract? Time to assassinate. Good work, my thrall. This could be the toe Malister seeks. Now we... Oh, what's this? A wizard? Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs> That's good. It's not your day, my guy. About to be over with. Um, What can I use? Use Storm.
All right, uh, boss left. Uh, let's do our combo. Our ice and fire combo. Well, actually, that combo be enough. Cause I only did 65. This might actually be enough. Never mind. I just don't need to fizzle. If I fizzle, then it's not gonna work. There we go. GG. Nice. The day is yours, young one. But the dark master's plan is already in motion. You haven't heard the last rattle in the darkness. <laughs> in his haste to leave, Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Sarah. As you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. We won the war. We saved the day. You did it, didn't you? You beat Rattlebones. Yeah. The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting. Look! With Rattlebones defeated, the god should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Ooh, that tone looks important. You should take it to the library in the Explorer comments. boots. Harold Ooh, will okay, I'll rock these. I'll rock them. I need to change the color of them, but I'll rock them. Okay, that gives resist to everything. Uh, go to the commons. Literally, the commons are right there, but teleport, because why not? Well, hello there. I don't think I've seen you in the library before. I'm Harold Argleston. Master Librarian Extraordinaire. You say you recover this tome from an underworld tyrant who is going to give it to his dark master, Malastare? My, my, I, I, I do believe this is a matter for Headmaster Ambrose. You should take the tome to him at once. Uh, but before you go, <laughs> allow me to reward you for your heroics. Please accept this treasure card on behalf of the denizens of Wizard City. Treasure cards are special press people. A treasure card. Is a healing treasure card. Oh, good. You're back. I'm anxious to hear your update on Unicorn Way. Rattlebones, you say? Rattlebones for searching the Unicorn Way archive mm -hmm. for this tome? Well, let me see what it is. On the trail of the Order of the Fan. Oh, my stars. I will certainly look into this. While I do that, you need to attend to the matter of your long-delayed enrollment. If you are to truly master your magical talents, we must induct you officially into our academy. I'll send you now to Mr. Lincoln, our registrar in Ravenwood. He will introduce you to our professors and help you begin your studies. Ah, you must be the new student I've heard so much about. You made quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. You made me light work, made me light work. I'm Mr. Lincoln, and I just have some quick paperwork to get you enrolled. Signature here, initials there, and a lock of hair here. All Are right. you allergic to unicorns or eyes of newt? Good, that takes care of that. To complete your enrollment, come meet your professors. Welcome. I am the professor of the ice school, where we teach thaumaturges to endure like permafrost, withstanding all attacks. We pyromancers of the fire school prefer to carefully fan the flames, utilizing damage over time spells. We slow burn our enemies to cinders. Now, young Thaumaturge, I'll take you to the ice school so I can properly induct you into our wonderful wintry world. Okay, we can teleport. Nice. What's our first spell? Let's learn it. Ice of you to join us, wizard. <laughs> so corny. Oh, Lydia, you're such a card. I am Lydia Greyrose, and it's my honor to teach you the secrets of ice magic. Come back here regularly to learn new spells. I'll also summon you periodically to teach you powerful spells only available to ice wizards. For your first lesson, train the 
No second spell. Then we turn to Mr. Lincoln to confirm that your enrollment is complete. All right, guys. So we got so Snow Serpent that we're about to use uh, and learn, actually. Then we got Volcanic Shield, Evil Snowman, Tower Shield, Ice Wavering, Blizzard, Bell Frost, and Colossus, the big boy. Let's go ahead and learn this level five. All right, there we go. We got it. We got one training point. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the fire school so I can learn fire cat. I think the first one I actually learned. All right, so we're here, go here. All right, fire cat, the fire elf, then the shield, then the sunbird trap, and all this good stuff. Meteor, wildfire, phoenix, and elephants. All right, seems like good deck. All right, we're we gonna learn this. Go ahead, fire. Excellent. Got it going on right now, yes sir. Now we're gonna have to keep going back there. That's gonna be the priority that we use our um, pips on, or need, not pips, our training points on rather. That's gonna be the priority. You've met your professor, great. You can train spells in your school for free, but to learn other school spells, you must spend training points. Here, I'll give you one now. Use it to start training a secondary school. And if you change your mind later, see me to buy back training points. All right, guys, so we actually got another training point. Um, I should have just went to him first and then went to the fire school, but it's all good. We got to go back to the fire school and learn another spell, actually. Uh, the next one's Fire Elf. So we're going to actually learn Fire Elf. We're going to be good. Yes, sir. Fire Elf. She responds I see you have trained your first damage over time spell. The Fire Elf spell will do a small amount of damage when you cast it, and then it will deal a larger amount of damage each round for three rounds of combat. Spells like these require patience, but can be very powerful when used correctly. Now imagine, guys, later on when we learn Meteor Strike, we learn like Blizzard around the same time, I think. It's gonna be craziness, dude. It's gonna be crazy. And then, like, imagine we do a combo. Like, with the ice and fire school hit, or the fire school hit, then the ice school hit. And the power pips. Like, yo, once we learn power pips, it's gonna be over with, dude. When we start getting the power pips, it's gonna go crazy. But it's looking good right now. We, um, you know, we got our deck fully maxed out right now. We'll probably get rid of some spells, like, down here. Like, this is the lowest damaging spell, so we get rid of that. Um, this is right next to it. This one gives more damage, so we might keep that. Just get rid of those two, really. Uh, we might get rid of this one. Everything else we really keep. Everything else is pretty good. You're officially enrolled now? <laughs> then let me formally welcome you with this new healing spell. We are learning so many spells so quickly. Let me also introduce you to our resident advisor, Abby K. Doodle. She can tell you all about our many electives uh, when you have time. But on to more serious matters. It seems the troubles in Unicorn Way were but the tip of an evil iceberg. Of course it was. While you were gone, chaos erupted all over the city. Undead run amok in the streets. And our former allies have turned against us. Where's the cops? Malastare must be behind Or the guards. Your victory on Unicorn Way makes you the perfect person to deal with this crisis. I foresaw you might save Wizard City. Now's your chance. Go to Old Town and talk to Sergeant Muldoon immediately. We must set things right and discover Malastare's goal in all this. Good luck. All right, everybody, I'm going to stop it right here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed episode one. Let me know by leaving a like and subscribing and commenting down below that you want to see more of this. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter and my new Discord. Links are down below in the description. Don't forget that I go live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Stay cool and safe out there. I'll see y'all later. Peace.